Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of August 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay. Also Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Aquarius, I would, uh, there is an extended reading for this one and if you are interested in the same and if you are excited to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and your person, then you can go ahead and check out the extended reading. Link for the same is provided in the description box. Link for the same is provided in the comment section okay and also uh the five year for uh the five month forecast starting from uh the month of august till the end of december 2021 has been uploaded the link for the same has also been provided in the description box and in the comments section now coming back to this reading aquarius what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person, right? <clears throat> Let's get started now. the fag and we'll pull out some love notes also okay so we have is five of wands then we have is queen of pentacles and we have is the ace of cups page of swords seven of swords and we have is the star mutual energy is queen of swords and seven of pentacles okay so aquarius you may be dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm hearing Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries. If the sign pops up all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs, okay? You may be seeing a lot of 11, 11. Uh, you may also be seeing a lot of 7, 7, 7. And I don't know if any one of you guys have seen 0, 0. On 1st of August okay that's a that's a big big indication towards something something big happening in your life right so we have is five of wands Queen of Pentacles and ace of cups Aquarius very slowly and steadily you're moving in the direction of finding that much needed emotional stability finding that much needed inner peace you know you're moving in a direction where you're aligning your mind body and soul in one direction okay so far because of whatsoever events happened in your life not just uh the breakup with your past person but i also see with the five of wands probably there were a lot of events that happened in your life back to back events and these events sort of made your life emotionally turbulent for some period of time okay and uh, there was a constant uncertainty in life Okay, you were in a phase where there was constant uncertainty about what is going to happen next. Now what? Now what next? What is going to happen next now? Okay, uh, so there was, there was, you have faced certain period, periods of, uh, uh, there was a lot of stress, there was a lot of pressure in your life because of uh, certain situations happening in your life, okay? maybe uh there was a demise also so i'm talking of course there was a heartbreak so i'm talking about other uh, events other than heartbreak as well maybe there was a demise maybe there was a 
maybe some of you guys lost a job maybe a uh, conflict with the family members maybe uh uh maybe financial crunch for some of you so like so there were so many events that took place in your life which sort of led to a constant emotional instability okay and that emotional stability was piling up constantly inside you okay and you were craving for peace you were craving for calmness you were craving for stability and what i feel is that now you're moving away from that instability to a phase where you are feeling a bit calm a bit uh, uh certain and uh, there is there is your mind body and soul is absolutely aligned now is what i feel and that's what universe was waiting for since a very long time okay universe was waiting for you to align your mind body and soul universe was waiting you to cleanse yourself from the entire negativity in your life universe was waiting you waiting for you to uh bring that much needed peace and calmness and stability uh within you inside you and uh you are making some conscious efforts also in that direction you are distancing yourself from certain people you are distancing yourself from certain situations you have uh, become more and more strong you may have blocked your past person you may have made sure that you are not going to initiate any kind of conversation with your past person maybe your past person was also extremely toxic and you you know that they were extremely toxic and you are making some conscious efforts to retain the sanity in your life okay and universe was uh, waiting for you to reach that uh, that uh, to reach that certain level why it was waiting so that it can send the right kind of a person in your life right look if you want a new person if you want a better person in your life if you are manifesting the the one for yourself or whatever you are manifesting Universe wants you to become aligned in that direction. Your thought process needs to be aligned. Your soul, your mind, and body should be aligned. Okay. If you are scattered in ten directions, universe is is it's like you are confusing universe. You are not sending the proper vibrations to the universe. You know, energy is a vibration. You send out those vibrations to the universe, and then it comes back to you as a result. okay so with that ace of cups i clearly feel that universe was waiting for you to align yourself okay align yourself and with that ace of cups universe is sending the right kind of love for you where you'll experience lots and lots and lots of love where there will be so much of satisfaction where there will be so much of happiness and love and joy and loyalty and everything right So love is happening very soon Aquarius so with that ace of cups love is definitely happening for you guys very soon okay and this love can be most likely i feel it's going to be a new love for some of you yes it can be a past person if you're strongly manifesting a past person okay but for majority of you i feel that there is going to be a new love okay and this new person is going to make sure that you are happy so let's see what your person is thinking and feeling about you page of swords seven of uh, swords and the star oh my god this person is watching you aquarius your past person is watching you like a hawk this person is also inquiring about you to to maybe your common friends or people whom you know like hey what uh, what aquarius is doing uh, it's been long time no see and long time i haven't seen any kind of updates on the social media as well like even if you may have blocked this person okay what i see is that this person is making attempts to know things about you this person knows that they have betrayed you this person knows that they have done 
extreme wrong to you they are absolutely aware of whatever they have done to you but they want you to forget the past and they want you to think about a new beginning with them they want you to give them one more chance so that they can rectify the situation with that star card i feel that this person is thinking that you are getting in your element you are rising up you are someone who is meant to rise up and now you are rising up in your life you are working hard towards whatever you are meant to achieve in your life from day one itself this person knew that you are a very hard working person aquarius okay you're a hard working person and you are you are meant to achieve big goals in this lifetime and they know that you are walking in that direction okay in the past this person may have also made attempts to pull you down okay maybe for some of you this was an energy vampire aquarius okay you may have felt extremely drained in the presence of this person this person was thriving off of your energy okay and uh, now that you are not there this person is feeling bit restless right because their energy is getting depleted and they are not finding the right kind of a soul on whose energy they can thrive right so there are multiple reasons why this person may want to come back to you they want to come back to you with some sincere intentions um they want to make things right secondly i see that they just want to come back to you out of curiosity they just want to know what are you doing this person probably was in competition with with you they were a bit jealous of jealous of who you are and your capabilities and your skills okay so they out of curiosity they just want to know what you're doing and what are you up to and how good you are doing in your life and thirdly this person is an energy vampire and they don't know that okay so they know one thing for sure that in your presence they feel very good in your presence they feel extremely energetic so they want to see you they want to meet you to you know to thrive on your energy to suck the energy out of you so there are multiple scenarios why this person wants to come back to you take how it resonates but nevertheless i feel that there is a very strong energy of a new person popping up in your life and let me tell you one thing aquarius you are becoming stronger day by day you are becoming powerful day by day like even if this person comes back with some malafide intentions they won't be able to affect you now okay in the past probably you were a bit vulnerable and uh, that's why they took undue advantage of you but now you are a very powerful soul and you i don't see you allowing them uh to cause you any kind of harm and there is a new person who is going to pop up in your life and this new person is going to be fiercely protective about you let me tell you that a very strong feeling uh with that star card that this person is going to be fiercely 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 protective about you they are going to treat you like like you know the most delicate thing on the planet earth i mean they of course they are they will be so much in love with you but there is going to be such a strong soul connect with this person aquarius that they will instantly realize that you have been through a lot in your life okay and because of that they will have that there is genuine love but they will also have bit of sympathy and empathy towards you okay and they are going to be fiercely fiercely and fiercely protective about you right so with the queen of swords and seven of pentacles someone is regretting certain situations and someone is acting extremely defensive okay they fear that if they come back you may reject them and you are in no mood to entertain them is what i see you haven't forgotten what this person did to you that's that's the thing what i see like you may have forgiven them but you haven't forgotten what they have done like this person underestimated you betrayed you may have like you know untreated uh, treated you unfairly and uh, they of course they were not fair with you right they may they may have thrown some bread crumbs at you chosen someone else over you and this was a sort of an insult for you that's that's the kind of a feeling i'm getting all right if this resonates uh, 
please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below aquarius also if you are interested in the extended the link is provided in the description box and also in the comments a section right and uh, the forecast for the next five months starting from august till the end of december 2021 has also been uploaded right so let's see what your person was thinking and feeling about you especially during separation you are just such a nice person you always know what i'm thinking you accept and respect my limitation you make me laugh constantly you can guess what i am you can guess what i'm going to say you would do anything to make me happy no matter how others see me you make me feel special you are simply irresistible you care about how i feel we can spend hours doing nothing and then talking. Your nose is the cutest thing in the world. Wow. All right. Bye-bye, Aquarius.